Now, the resolution adopted earlier this month at the third plenary session of the 20th CPC Central Committee emphasizes the importance of deepening reform in ecological conservation. It says we must improve ecological conservation systems and make concerted efforts to cut carbon emissions, reduce pollution, pursue green development and boost economic growth. Now, let's pull up some data. The resolution calls for improving the basic systems for ecological conservation. It's crucial to implement region-specific environmental management systems and improve the systems for environmental monitoring and assessment. An environmental code should be compiled. It also calls for efforts to refine the institutions and mechanisms to ensure pollution control practices are targeted, grounded in science and law-based. It says systems should be established for the coordinated treatment of new pollutants and management of environmental risks. It needs efforts to improve the mechanisms for integrated protection and systematic governance of mountain, water, forest, farmland, grassland and desert ecosystems and develop multiple funding mechanisms for ecosystem protection and restoration. It should enforce the system of mandatory limits on the use of water resources and replace the water resource fee with a nationwide tax. The re resolution also says China will improve the mechanisms for green and low-carbon development. In order to support green and low-carbon development, it needs to implement fiscal, tax, financial, investment and pricing policies, as well as standards working towards an economy that facilitates green, low-carbon and circular development. It also calls for optimization of policies and green government procurement and refining the green taxation system.